So, we're headed to Florida, ladies and gentlemen. Leaving New Jersey. We have a 20, roughly 20 hour drive. Probably gonna stop and have to sleep at some point. No way I can make it 20 hours straight. But uh, yeah, today's January 2nd. Great way to kick off the new year. Uh, got about 1,400 mile road trip, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably pull off fishing little honey holes on the side of the road, but uh, yeah, let's get going. Only uh, 1,400 more miles to go and we'll be there, so stay tuned. First flyby, Delaware River, going over the Delaware Memorial Bridge right now. Only 22 more hours left. Let's keep it going. I don't drive R8, I don't like those. I drive a Daytona and I tinted the windows. I got on 800, she got on stilettos. All right, mid-morning update. We are in Maryland now. There's Elkton, Elkton, Maryland right there. MTA, Maryland Transport Authority. The first three states uh, fly by pretty quickly. There goes New Jersey, Delaware. Now we're going through Maryland right now, but it'll start slowing down soon, especially once we get to Virginia. The states just get really big down there. So uh, yeah, for 10.50 in the morning, not doing too bad. Only been driving like probably an hour, if that. 19 more hours to go. Couple smallies in here, probably. That's the uh, Susquehanna River right there. And we are still in Maryland. Only 1,200 more miles to go. Welcome to Baltimore. right now going a whopping zero maybe one mile an hour 10 miles an hour now seems to be a pretty big accident somewhere so adding a couple more minutes on our uh, already day-long journey here so not really stressing about anything life is good just chilling in traffic well Hopefully everyone's all right over here. Stay safe, guys. 17 more hours to go, about 1,100 miles. We're back to cruising speed. And there's one more river to add to the list. Going over the Potomac now. Um, leaving Maryland, obviously going over to Virginia, so. Boom, one more state off the list. Let's keep ticking them down till we get to FL, baby. Yeah. I can't handle no liquor, but these bitches can't handle me. Yeah, another slow down here, 995. Absolutely wonderful drive. This one sucks. We got like 30 more minutes to go of just stop and go traffic so definitely kind of sucks but nothing to really do about it just part of the drive i guess a little bit of traffic here and there so i'll stop bad when we got another 16 and a half hours to go and breaking now at one o'clock your 12:53 traffic report only took 40 minutes Pretty much in the middle of nowhere now. It's just kind of where the boring part of the drive starts. Nothing but trees and farmland out here. We're in South Virginia, and we've got maybe a thousand more miles of this till we get to uh, like Atlanta. So I don't think we're too far from North Carolina, which will be the next state across off the list. But yeah, we're doing okay travel time wise. I'm not really in a rush, as you can tell. I mean, I'm gonna have to sleep somewhere. So wherever I end up, I end up.
All right, first stop, Shell gas station. Almost made to North Carolina on one tank. All right, so the car is refueled, but I do need to refuel my stomach. I'm starving. Before I left Jersey, I actually picked up some pepperoni bread from Versus Bakery down there in Blackwood. I have a little stove back there I'm gonna fire up. And uh, yeah, we'll get to munching, short of the little detour, get some food in my stomach, then we're back on the send. Okay, so I got my little portable burner right here, small cast iron pan. Let's fire this baby up. There we are. Enough flame to warm up this small pan. Such a cool little thing. Got this with a little Amazon gift card for my grandfather. So shout out him for the uh, the funds to buy a little portable stove. Because honestly, one of the best purchases ever made. You're going to be seeing this guy a lot on this trip. And here's the famous pepperoni bread. Only negative thing is I forgot to bring any marinara sauce. So, man, it's all right, Cole, but let's heat it up. All right, this guy looks done enough. Oh, freaking hot. <laughs> Jesus. All right, put it on the roof, I guess. Yeah, I guess that works next to the surfboard. Oh, yeah. Good, too. Warm New Jersey pepperoni bread in the middle of nowhere in Virginia, almost North Carolina. Can't beat it. Beautiful pepperoni breads. Let's pack this guy up. Get back on 95, straight south. All right. Well, we made it to uh, North Carolina. Yeah, we got a couple hundred miles for the state. And uh, yeah, sun's setting four o'clock right now. We'll see how much longer I can hang in there. I'll give myself probably four to six more hours of driving before I decide to crash somewhere and take a little nap, but going strong right now. Pepperoni bread, absolutely killer. And there is the Roanoke River, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. All right, time for a detour. A little traffic over here, not, not the wave, so. Apparently we've got like an hour long delay right here. Just getting on the exit and getting them out of here. Skirt, skirt. Yep, passing up on that. No, thank you. We out here. Actually, this might be the scenic route. Seeing the best landscapes North Carolina has to offer. Wow. And we're back to the beam path. Drive slow, homie. Drive slow, homie. You never know, homie. Might meet some hoes, homie. You need to pump your brakes. And drive slow, homie. Looking into the exit right after me. Well, hopefully you can see that. Rip, 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 rip. So guys, improv two. Almost seven o'clock update right now. It's uh, It's been raining for a couple hours now. We're about to go through. What you guys up north are going to see is a winter storm. Um, I know back home we're probably going to get five to eight inches of snow. But here it's 60 degrees as of now. So lots of rain and actually maybe some severe weather coming up too. But driving's definitely a little slower now. Just made to South Carolina. Weather's kind of precarious. I don't want to be recording this for too long. But probably going to drive for three, four more hours before we get too tired. All right, 820 update. Not good news. We have some lights on up here so my abs sensor and my four-wheel drive error button came on now i have had this happen before and it turned out just to be a sensor issue but that was only a year ago so that that's not good to see it only a year afterwards what happened i don't know i must hit a puddle or something a hydroplane and hopefully they just tripped the sensor hopefully nothing's actually wrong with my car but um yeah these these roads are pretty flooded down here i mean i'm in a dry spell right now but i checked the radar and we're about to go through some pretty severe rain and maybe just going 75 miles an hour through a big puddle is not the best for your car. I'm not too concerned with the lights, but being 700 miles away from my destination and 700 miles away from home, I'm literally halfway to my destination. It's just not, not a good sign. We're almost at the Georgia border now, going through South Carolina. I'm really not tired at all. I was much more tired around three o'clock and I guess once the sun went down, just less to focus on the road so 
kind of making some fishing plans with some contacts I know down in, uh, down on the East Coast now. And yeah, hopefully everything turns out all right. We'll get some gas pretty soon, stretch our legs, maybe even eat some dinner. So stay tuned. <laughs> nice. Ride to me. Closer. All right, that's probably our last stop until we uh, find somewhere to sleep. So let's get back on 95. Oh, actually, it's a Taco Bell across the street. We'll, we'll get a couple of tacos, then we'll get moving. So like, Taco Bell's closed. All right, back on the road. 700 more miles to go. Only two more fuel up somewhere there. Yeah. Welcome to Georgia, baby. All right, 10 o'clock. Just crossed into Georgia as you guys just saw. Only 600 more miles to go. I'm not really even that tired, but I'm probably gonna pull off in the next hour or so because I do wanna get some sleep. There's no point in showing up to the Keys at 3 a.m. I've got some exciting plans for tomorrow, guys. Fish the East Coast with some kids from Jersey and then even gonna stop in Miami, have some fun. Grinding, it is 73 degrees. Balmy, balmy out right now. Gorgeous weather, just saw my first palm trees of the tribe and uh, yeah. No complaints. We're going. We're sending it. 11 o'clock. All right. I'm actually exhausted now. I probably could have squeezed out another hour or two of driving, but I only have about 500 more miles to go. Probably leaves around eight hours tomorrow to drive, which really isn't bad. If I start around seven o'clock, I'll be in the Keys by three. I'll probably stop for a couple hours and do some other crap on the way down. But uh, I had an air mattress back here somewhere. I don't think that's going to really happen. Uh, maybe I can move some of this stuff around, but I may just be kind of bummered out here in the front seat. We'll see what, what happens. So see me AM. I gotta get some sleep. I'm exhausted. We drove 13 hours today. I'm tired. Sun came out. So we survived the night. Um, Pretty rough night of sleep. I went to bed, I think around 11.30. I woke up probably every hour um, from three o'clock all the way till I finally decided to just stay up at seven. But I mean, I did get a good amount of sleep. I probably got six six hours or so. So I'm gonna get washed up real quick. Got these, these wipes right here. I used them in the Upstate New York video. And these seem to work pretty good. You don't wanna become a grease ball out here when you're traveling, so. All right, there we go. That should do the job. Wiped off all that muck and the grease that kind of marinated on me throughout the drive. Boom, highly recommend these things, pretty good. Um, they're actually for your full body, but I don't feel like getting naked here in the uh, Georgia Visitor Center parking lot. So we'll, we'll just stay with cleaning the face for now. So guys, I'm absolutely starving out here. Kind of skipped dinner last night. I didn't really feel like making anything, but have a little, uh, little surprise for you and for myself too. So in this cooler right here, got some delicious bacon. Boom. All right, so without further ado, let's get to cooking in here. Here we are, gas station parking lot special. And folks, I would like to make an important note, since I am using raw meat, um, obviously there's a risk of salmonella and other bacteria, I'm making sure to use a Lysol wipe on all the surfaces, including my phone. Don't wanna ruin the strip by getting food poisoning, but. First batch of bacon's almost done. Let's eat up. Boom. Novelty cooked bacon right out of the back of my truck. Fresh as can be. Good. 
Who needs fast food when you got this? Awesome, man. So guys, good news actually, as you can see, there are no more lights on my screen right here. I actually just turned my ABS off altogether and that kind of just shut off the lights when I restarted my car this morning. So that's good. You also can see over here, it is 50, 50 degrees out. I went to bed last night, it was 75. The high was like 84 yesterday and today the high is only 55. So major cold front, really jealous. I'm a big snow lover and you guys up north are just getting hammered right now with a monster snowstorm, especially at the Jersey Shore. So kind of missing that, but in a couple hours I'll be in Florida. So let's get back on I-95. 500 more miles to go, about eight more hours. I'm gonna be out of here, baby. So stay tuned, let's get it. You've got so guys we're here we made it to florida it is only 10 o'clock so actually pretty early but florida is incredibly long we actually have about 400 more miles to go until we reach the keys and the speed limits do drop off once we get to miami so we have to drive a little bit slower but Right now we're cruising. I am gonna make a pit stop in Jupiter and fish with some Jersey kids. Hopefully get on a couple fish there, not look for anything too special, but get out, stretch my legs, that's the plan. I'll catch you guys in about an hour or so. We'll probably have to get some more gas. Then we'll uh, keep on chugging along until we get to Jupiter, hopefully catch some fish and end the day off in the Keys. So I have literally seen this freaking gopher everywhere. On every freaking exit sign, it's like, Bucky's coming up 180 miles and here we are. So hopefully this place lives up to the hype. You got 6 trillion cars in the parking lot here. I just want to get some gas. I don't even know what the price is. I look, just looked on gas, buddy. Trying to save a buck, you know, on gas. Cause I mean, 1500 miles in gas isn't cheap, but little gopher man got the, got the hookup. to that gopher man hooked it up that's the cheapest i've paid for gas since probably over a year 286 pretty good no discounts or anything so for any of you gas nerds out there hopefully keeping you entertained be fishing soon two hours left till we're in jupiter So we just pulled into Jupiter, guys. After a long, long drive, time to catch some fish. Me and up with the Jersey boys right now. Oh, we caught some fish on fish on there we go dude I thought I snagged some grass oh we just spit it oh dude dude first fish of the Florida mission how did I lose them Jesus first fish just popped them off this is good water right here what the hell something was just on my leg Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Oh. I think that's the end for me, dude. Mega win knot. Well, I lost a, a mega snook and a jack, so I think it comes down to my fault. All right, that wraps up fishing stop number one. Shout out Jetty Jockeys on Instagram for hooking it up, linking up. I'm only fished for about an hour, but that's really all the time I had. So back on the road, hooking it straight to the keys. See you then. I don't know. Got a bad me and my homes.
All right, folks, we finally made it here to the Keys. I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this adventure. Very different from my other videos, not really a lot of fishing. Mostly just like a travel vlog, pretty much. But yeah, I mean, if you enjoyed the gas station trips, the cooking food out in the parking lot, and a little bit of fishing I snuck in there. It kept me entertained throughout the drive. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate everyone tuning in. We're gonna be making my first video here in probably in about an hour and a half. Going out on a bridge, gonna be filming a video. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that. No spoilers yet, but uh, yeah, guys, stoked out of my mind for these days here in the Keys. I'm probably gonna be here for 10 days or so, and we're gonna fish every day, all day. So stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy the series. Peace out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.